this is Katie. In today's video, we are going to do a little room tour slash finish unpacking with me. So a lot of you guys know, I spent the last like six months or so living in New York and I recently moved to Florida and I'm staying with one of my best friends in his guest room. So that's why I have like a proper bed and stuff because I'm in the guest room. And I did a bathroom unpacking video last week. And in this video, I want to show you guys my bedroom and just kind of finish unpacking what I'm going to unpack in here because I've kind of unpacked the necessities, like my clothes are already out and stuff like that. And um, I want you guys to help me unpack. So if you're excited for this little room tour, slash unpacking video. I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. What I'm going to do first is show you what my bedroom looks like right now and then we can kind of finish unpacking. So let me get my phone. My phone. My little phone case. It says keep smile on it. I love it. I think the colors are so fun. I got it on Amazon like last year. Anyway. All right. So I'm just going to record like from my front door, I think. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay. So when you walk in my front door, this is what my room looks like. So there's obviously the bed. I have two little like tables as little nightstands. And then I have this pile of stuff that I have not unpacked at all. And then let's see over here. There's my bed. I have a fan over there. I'm in Florida. It's a million degrees. And then down here is where I've been doing my makeup. I don't know if I'm going to change that, but that's just where my makeup case is. Here's my closet and that's where my camera is. So I was just standing right there recording. And then my closet, I've unpacked some of my clothes. So basically all of my t-shirts and like looser tank tops and then just a couple of like my nicer shirts that are not t-shirts or tank tops, I hung up. And then I also just, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this like this, but it works for now. If you remember my packing videos from New York from a couple weeks ago, I packed all of like my bras, my underwear, my socks, everything in those little bags and I just hung them up. <laughs> so I'm going to see how that works. And then all the rest of my clothes are down here. So all my pants and shorts are just in a pile. And then those two bins have all the rest of my shirts and stuff. And then my shoes are in that bin. That's all my craft stuff over there. And then on this side, that again, if you remember the packing video from New York, that was like that extra bin that had like my purses and a bunch of extra stuff in it. So I just kind of left that as is. And my laundry is on top of that. And then up here, I have like most of my books or all of my books, I think are up there. And so that's what my closet looks like. This is what you look like, hello. And then on this side, I just have a couple things still on the floor. I sleep on this side of the bed. So that's where my computer is, my water bottle, not a Stanley. It's a dupe that I got at Marshall's and my fan and my watch and stuff. So that's all over there. So honestly, you guys know, hold on, let me talk to the regular camera. Okay, so you guys know that I'm not the tidiest person. I'm just not, I will never claim to be, but I do like when things have a home and like I like being organized, you know? And so like that little section next to my bed with like my water bottle and like my switch and the lotion and stuff like that, it's probably gonna look like that most of the time I live here, but I'm fine with that. I might get like a little bin because I think I have like an extra bin in the bathroom and put that stuff in it to organize it a little bit. But besides that, like I'm okay with stuff like that. If I'm going to use it all the time, just leaving it out does not really bother me. But all the rest of this stuff, like these two big piles, basically like the one that was right down here and the bigger one right when you walk into the door, I do want to just put those away somewhere. And honestly, like I'm going to be here for I don't really know how long, five-ish months or something like that. So I'm gonna be here for a while, but I just kind of noticed from living in New York and from unpacking and packing and doing all that stuff, I just kind of noticed that some things I could have kept packed and organized in one of their bags or containers and then just used them out of that bag or container, you know? So not everything that I own needs to be unpacked necessarily. Does that make sense? So. Basically what I'm saying is that I'm not gonna unpack a lot of those bags. Some of those I'm just gonna be like, okay, where does this bag go? For example, this bag. So this bag has like my camera box and like some extra cords and stuff like that for my cameras and like an extra tripod and like my GoPro case that has all the extra GoPro stuff in it. The thing about it is like, you know, if I was gonna live in a house permanently, right? If I was gonna be in a house for years and years and years, I might have a desk or I might have a closet that's specifically for all of my work here. And then I might have shelves and I might have cubbies and all that kind of stuff. But with my lifestyle and also just with how often I use this stuff, which is not very often, but I do want to have it. I think I'm just going to keep it in this bag. 
and then just put this bag either in my closet or there is another spare room that has a pretty empty closet that I can put a couple bags in, I'm sure. So I might do that. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Instead of like unpacking everything and where does this go? Where does this go? I think a lot of stuff's just gonna stay in the bags that they're in. So this, I just wanna double check to make sure I don't have to take anything out of it. But then besides that, I'm just going to put this in a closet somewhere. The only things I would take out are the things that I would use really regularly. But in here, this is almost more extra stuff, I guess. Like I have the box for this camera. And the only reason I'm keeping it is because I don't know if I want to keep this camera. So I have it just in case I want to sell it. My really old cameras in here, stuff like that. Okay, how's that angle? Does that work? This is just trash, by the way, this little bag here. Okay, so over here, I have a hat. This just needs to go back in the car. My River Dogs hat, love this. And then this little backpack is like my baseball backpack or my event backpack because it's clear and some stadiums and stuff still want you to bring a clear bag, I think. And so this is what I use for that. And I'm just going to keep a couple things in here just so like it's ready to go if I do go to a game or an event or something like that, like a pair of sunglasses, tissues, a hair tie, stuff like that. So this is fine. I'm just gonna put this in the closet like this. This bag, don't yell at me. Please don't yell at me. Okay, this bag has four of my stuffed animals in it. And the reason that they're still in this bag is because I don't know what happened when I moved from New York to Florida, but something happened to these animals and now they smell a little weird and I wanna wash them before I like put them out. But a weird thing about me is that I am absolutely terrified to wash my stuffed animals. I am so scared that they're gonna rip, that they're gonna like get moldy inside from not drying correctly. Like I'm terrified. So if you have ever washed a stuffed animal successfully, can you please let me know how you did it in the comments, please? Cause I'm, I'm so scared. But anyway, so for now they're staying in this bag and I, I feel really bad. This is, you guys know I'm not very sentimental. You guys know I don't like to keep a lot of like extra stuff. The most sentimental that I get is that I do have a bunch of pictures and I do have a bunch of stuff on the ceiling of my car, kind of like as like a refrigerator kind of thing where I'd put pictures and I'd put little patches and stuff like that. So I don't keep a ton of sentimental stuff. However, I do keep some sentimental stuff. And so in here is some like things that like my mom gave me or like, like this, Andrew McMahon signed this from Jack's Mannequin from like 10 years ago. I have a lanyard from college. I have a Yogi Berra autographed baseball card in here. You know, so I just have a lot of like sentimentally kind of stuff in here. So again, this does not need to be unpacked. This is just, if I wanna look through it, I'll look through it, but it does stay in here. So you know what? I also do have like an under the bed bag. So I actually might put some of this stuff in there because I'm not gonna go through this every day, but I might wanna look at it every once in a while. And so I will probably put this under the bed, um, in that little under the bed bag. So I'll do that. This is my um, balloon animals. I like to keep this out because I like using these. So I'll probably just put this on the top shelf in my closet because that's easy access. These are my contacts. What I do when I travel is put my contacts and some of my vitamins in one of these kind of like lunch boxes because in my head, it will keep it away from the sun. Is that logical? I'm not really entirely sure. And I don't think it really matters with contacts. Regardless, <laughs> that's where I put them. So I'm just gonna put this in the bathroom. And then let's see, I have this backpack that has hair dye in it that needs to go in the bathroom. An extra one of these. Okay, this is a nonsensical backpack. I have model car paint. Okay, so this needs to go with my arts and crafts. I have a, just one sock, just one. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna go with the laundry. Oh, these are the wheels. These are the wheels for the drawers that I had in my loft closet in New York. Why, why do I have these? Why did I bring them a thousand miles to Florida? This is just getting thrown out. I don't need this. Okay, there's just a couple other things in here that I just need to, oh, one more individual sock. That's great, cool, okay. All right, so there's just a couple other things in here just to empty. And then I live in a state again that gives out plastic bags. And you guys know I love keeping these in the car to use for trash and stuff. So I'm just gonna bring this in the car. So where's the car pile? What was I gonna bring in the car? I already forgot. Oh, the hat, okay. And then this backpack is where I had, I don't remember, other stuff. I don't remember, but I unpacked most of it. Oh, there's a pair of sunglasses in here. Okay, these go back in the car. And then I have my, do you guys remember? 
I actually can't remember if I told YouTube or just Instagram. I hurt my jaw like three days after I moved to New York last year. So I got this like heat slash cold pack to wrap around my face. So this just is gonna go in the bathroom, like where I would put first aid kind of stuff. So that's just gonna go in the bathroom. And then, oh, I have a Dave & Buster's card in here. Why? This goes in my purse. This needs to go in my purse. And then I have two empty like reusable bags. So these will also go in the bathroom, little travel bags. And then I have this. So this you plug in to charge it, right? And it's like a little spaceman. And then you can take this part off and it's a flashlight. I don't think it's charged, no. But it's like a little flashlight you can just carry around with you. Very cool invention. Anyway, so this I'll probably put like out just in case, like if the lights go out or something. So I'll plug that in and keep that out. So I'll probably put that over there. In the front pocket of this backpack, I had a big multi-tool pocket knife and a little fox tape measure. Those go together, they go together, I'm just saying. All right, so this also is gonna go with my craft stuff, which I said is where, oh, right here, okay. And then this bag is empty, so I'll probably put this under the bed as well. And then this bag is more reusable bags. This bag is just filled with other bags. So again, this is gonna go in the car. Okay, and then the last few things on this side are a box of receipts and a sticker book. The thing is, is that you guys know I love sticker books, or I used to love them. I still love them, but I don't do them as often, and I kind of want to get back into doing those more. Basically, they're like paint by number, but with stickers instead of paint, and I really like them. I think they're a lot of fun. I used to do them a lot a couple years ago, and then I got this one that's like animals, and there are stickers, and most sticker books, again, it's like paint by number. So they'll have like little boxes with a number or whatever in it. And then you just take the sticker and put it on. This one is more of like a creative one. Like here's all these animals, put them wherever you want. Weirdly enough, I don't enjoy this one as much. I did like half of one. So I might actually just like give this away because I just don't enjoy it as much. So that's like a probably giveaway kind of thing. Yeah, and then these are receipts and then there's receipts in here for that. I need to organize into like a proper like little receipt bag at some point. Okay, and then my Kindle, which I'm also gonna put like near my bed or I'll probably put it on the other little side table where my Bible and stuff is. So I'll put that over there. Okay, that actually slid pretty well. I'm sorry that you did not get to see that. Anyway, okay, so I am going to put a couple of the bathroom things in the bathroom, the car things in the car, and then I will come back and we can organize the other side and then put some stuff in my closet, put some stuff under the bed. Oh, and then I guess the only thing that I might put in the other room is that backpack. But honestly, if there's room under the bed, like uh, in terms of like this, this way room, <laughs> like if the backpack fits under the bed, then I'm just gonna put it under the bed. But if not, I will either put it in my closet if there's room or I'll just put it in the other spare room closet. Um, but all right, I'll be back in like, I mean, one second for you, but it'll be like four minutes for me. Okay, so I put that stuff in the bathroom, put the other stuff in the car, and now let's do this side. So here's that little under the bed bag thing that I was talking about. So in here, I'm going to put this little sentimental bag. And actually, I wanna see if this backpack fits under the bed. I have no gauge of how tall this bed is. No, it does not. This bed is not that tall. Okay, so this will just go in the other room, slash the closet, I might have room up there. Um, but this should fit under the bed if I just have a few things in here. So I'll probably put like my extra backpack in here. Obviously it'll be super easy to get to, it's just right under the bed. So um, that'll go in here. There's another empty bag and another receipt. Hold on. Okay, and then, where am I gonna put my belongings? Up with my books? You think I can throw it from here? Let me set up my, <laughs> this camera, hold on. We can watch together, we can see if I can throw it up there. It's not a good angle, but I think that, I think we'll be able to see. Okay, ready? <laughs> yes! <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's up there. This little bag, I, there's a couple things in here still that I, I do have to unpack. So this I'm just gonna keep out for now. 
This is a little ball from the Rude Dogs game, a little squishy ball. I, fun fact about me, love like playing catch and stuff, even if it's just with like a little squishy ball. Again, I'm just gonna keep this out somewhere. I don't know where yet though. And then I have my switch that is only out. I didn't even play it, but I took it out to charge it because I was thinking about playing it. So let's put it back in here. I have Mario Kart and Mario Superstars. Wait, Mario Party Superstars. Um, and yes, I say Mario. We can fight if you want to. I'm from Long Island. A lot of us say Mario. I don't know. Anyway, so this I am just going to keep over here. Um, and then this is like all my GoPro stuff, which I have to charge because I think I'm going on a day trip tomorrow. And I like to take my GoPro when I go on day trips. I hope you can hear me. I just realized I'm very far away and the audio on this camera is not great. Anyway, GoPro's gone there. And then these are just my cords and stuff, my lotion, a hair tie, whatever. That's all fine. This I'm going to go through. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. I didn't, I didn't decide yet. I don't know for now. It's gonna go right there. Um, okay, and then this backpack is more, if you can believe it, more computer stuff and journals and tripods and stuff like that. But again, I'm gonna keep this as is because I don't need to unpack this. If I need anything out of here, I can just grab it from here. So I'm just gonna put this as is in my closet, probably. So that's that. So honestly, I don't know if I even really need this whole bag. I might just put this somewhere. Oh, cause by the way, I didn't want to buy any extra storage. I just wanted to see what I can get away with, with what I have, just cause I didn't want to spend money on the storage. And because if I already have all these bags and stuff, why not use them in the same way I would use like drawers or something, you know? So anyway, I might not even need this. I'll still put it under the bed. Anyway, okay, so these few things, I just need to see if they'll fit in the closet somewhere. And they probably will. Um, and then the only things left, I'm just gonna bring them into frame instead of trying to move you again because, okay, I have a deck of cards. I don't know where that's gonna go yet, no idea. And then I have my camera case. So that I will just put in this backpack. Okay, and then the only other thing over here is if you watched my last video, part of that video is me painting my nails and I just still have all my nail stuff in here. But this has a home, this needs to get thrown out. I had red nail polish on. But this already has a spot in my bathroom. I just didn't put it back yet. So we're putting all the nail polishes back where they belong. Okay, so I'm gonna go put this in the bathroom and then we are going to go in my closet and we're gonna see how much of this I can fit in my closet. And then if not, again, some of this can go under the bed. It's not really a big deal. I just wanna like know where the things are and remember where they are. That's it. All right, I'll be back in one second. So this is obviously the same kind of bag as one of these. And this one has all my gym clothes in it. And again, I might just keep it in here. So I'm just gonna put that there. Okay, so then all my books, there's an extra pillow. I mean, these balloon animals flew pretty far. Okay, all right, okay. So this, honestly, the balloon animals, I'll probably just put over here with my, sorry, you probably can't hear me. My balloon animals, I think I'm just gonna put over there with all my crafting stuff and just put it right on top. Cause I, I don't use these like every day, but I do like to make balloon animals sometimes. So, okay. There was like a little pillow in the corner, but that's not my pillow and I already have four. So I'm just gonna put that in the spare room. Um, but these are extra pillowcases. So I'm gonna keep these in here. Um, but then in terms of like these, this can just go right here in this corner. There's a bunch of room here. This can go over here. No, no, hold on. Where's this gonna go? Is this also gonna go in the corner? These two backpacks. This one's empty. Um, so this actually is just gonna go in the bin with all my purses. And then this one, it's definitely more important to like keep where I can reach it just in case like, again, this has like journals and pens and stuff like that. So like I will reach for this, you know, at least weekly, but I don't know where it's gonna go yet. Cause I don't want it to be up high cause it's a little heavy and I don't want to have to like reach for it if it's that heavy. There's no real like obvious answer right now. And I don't think this will fit under the bed either. Yeah, I think for now, I'm just gonna put this next to my laundry bag and then yeah, I think for now, I think it's basically done, I think. Except for that one bag that I'm probably just gonna, actually, 
This is really light and I'm rarely gonna reach for this, so this can go up here as well. Okay, perfect. So really the only thing is that I'm just gonna put that pillow in the other room and then this little thing I'm gonna give away, but everything else is good for, for me. Again, this is not some like magazine quality bedroom. This is just how I like to have my bedroom. And yeah, all right, so let me put those one or two things away and then I think we're done. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so now when you walk into my room, I have my stuffed animals and my purse on my bed, but that's fine. And then over here, I'll probably reorganize this at some point, but for now, my Bible, a book, my jewelry, my vitamins, and some pens. I'll probably end up moving my jewelry. And then on the floor, again, for now, is a couple math books because I like to do math for fun. Um, and then those receipts that I have to go through and my Kindle. So that's there. And then this is all cleared, except for this that I'm going to give away and then those that I need to wash. And then on this side, I am gonna leave my makeup there for now. And then that is the charger for my camera. And then this is a little bag that I'm making to just leave in the car, like a little toiletry bag that I wanna just leave in the car. I'm working on that, so that's just sitting there. But yeah, I'll probably leave my makeup there for now. The only other spot that I might put it in is down here on this side. But I like to do my makeup on the floor, so that is just gonna go on the floor somewhere. And then my closet. So again, that's the bin that has my purses and stuff like that in it. There's my laundry and my backpack. That probably won't stay there. One of those has to move, but I don't know which one yet. But anyway, clothes, clothes, shoes. I just put my baseball right there for now. All my arts and crafts, my balloon animals, stuff like that. And then my clothes that need to be hung up. I do have a couple jackets in the car that I just wanna put in here. Um, so I do have some extra hangers. And then up there, that thing is the case for my tripod. And then this is my, I actually might take that out and like display it somewhere. That's my YouTube 100,000 uh, plaque that I have. And then my books. And then over here, like I said, that green backpack is back there. And then that's like the little sentimental kind of bag. And then that's my baseball backpack. And then there's my camera. And then, oh, I have some jewelry and stuff on the windowsill, that's fine. And then on this side, again, I know that this is messy for some people, but this is totally fine for me. Just like all my charging cords and stuff, my water bottle, the fan, my computer. And then that backpack, I am just going to empty. And then eventually I'll put that backpack away with all the other purses. And then that's it. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I finished unpacking and then giving you a little room tour. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Please make sure that you're subscribed. I'm gonna have a ton of Florida content over the next few months. And please let me know in the comments where you want me to go in Florida and film for you. I'm like in the middle, like central Florida. So let me know anywhere that you think that I would enjoy or that you want to see me film. And I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.